going on guys? Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee and today's test drive is this 1969 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck, 350 under the hood. Power steering, power brakes, looks like an AC compressor. We'll be checking all this stuff out throughout the video so you know what you're getting before you get here. Make sure to stop by maplemotors.com for financing and shipping. And of course there's 100 detailed pictures of every ride on the lot. On Mondays, I'm putting out new vehicles. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Let's check some stuff out on the interior before we leave. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Haven't tried it yet, but it's a game we like to play on the channel. The dash on this one, not bad looking. Got some speakers up there. We'll crack here where the gas gauge is. We'll tr Let's see. We'll be stopping to get some fuel because I don't know exactly what's in the tank right now turning her on i don't think that gauge is hooked up right i would have had it running that long yeah it's maxed out and it revs up that one may be correct we'll keep an eye on it show you the mileage it's hard to uh, stand behind these old gauges and the mileage from 1969. That's what it says. Radio's loud. Blower motor. Switches are kind of stiff on this one. But I don't hear a fan kicking on either. Wipers, they took the, uh, the arms off, but the little nubs are still turning. Y'all see that? So if you put the arms back on, you should have some wipers turn signals left side flashing right side is also flashing looking at your interior not too bad horn did you place your bets there's no spring in there at all so it's definitely not gonna haunt let's hit the road see how she runs and drives okay so i've had it warm up for a second the temperature gauge did come up to around the halfway mark so i think we're good to take off now Shifter is a little bit stiff on this one. Idle comes down quite a bit. Let's see if we can get out of here. bit low on this one. I may end up turning it up just a hair throughout the test drive. Let's make sure she's good and warm though. Good shift there. Speedometer is coming up on the dash. Steering's nice and tight. And that's pretty straight to me. We're going straight down the road. And uh, the speedometer is a little bit off, I'd say about 10 mile an hour off, but it's working. Checking your brakes. The pedal's a little bit stiff, but the brakes feel good. I mean, they're stopping fast. Passing gear's not hooked up. You can always manually shift down. trying it just make sure it's not set at a different spot motor feels pretty good sounds good and smooth it's not bad like I said we're gonna pull into the gas station here and probably put about $20 worth of premium fuel I don't want to run out I don't know how much is actually in there our gas gauge is way past the full mark Suspension over the curb there, not bad. Okay. That idle is still a bit low. Shifter is stiff going back into park. The only good thing about that is it's not going to accidentally come out of park. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back, guys. Up here at the gas station. 
and I got about $20 worth of premium fuel in this gas tank. So I know we're not going to run out now. Let's get in here and take off. The gas gauge is messed up on this one, so. Little drag there. Okay. Get y'all set up on the head cam. Let's go ahead and take off here. I went ahead and did the walk around here in the parking lot. So stick around to the end of the video to see chips, scratches, flaws, rust, whatever I find. to manually turn off your turn signals. Very responsive throttle, getting in those brakes. Stops decently fast. Back in the throttle. It's pretty smooth going down the road. Tight steering. And 
and there's nothing really rattling around sticking out to me that uh, sounds loose it's just nice and tight maybe a little bit of a lifter noise under the hood there's a bump here give her a listen quite smooth over that and I haven't adjusted the the idle at all I notice when you put it in park it comes up a little bit in gear it's idled down low a little bit we've made it back to the lot guys i do appreciate you watching stick around picking out the flaws coming up Alright, it's that portion of the video where we walk around and look for rust, dents, scratches, whatever there is. We do have detailed pictures of this ride inside, out, and underneath. Just got to go to maplemotors.com. Let's get started here. Coming up on the front end, lower bumper. It's showing signs of age. A little bit of pitting. Light scuffs on the front here. On this corner too. Your grill. Actually, it looks pretty good. A little bit of paint missing there, and there's a little spot that got taken out there on the plastic. Coming down this side. Little chips here. Spot in the corner of the door. stain in the paint that should come off. The bubbles on the corner of the door as well. There's some chips up here. A little bubble in the paint. Back your midsection. Chip here. Light scuffs on the corner here. Chip there. there as well mirror looks decent Little chip on top come off front windshield see the old glass in it old glass does that it's got a cool effect <laughs> rubber there it's got some cracks trim looks decent a little rust coming through up here door handle looks good cracks there Front windshield all together, not bad. I don't see any chips. Not on this side. There's some chips here. Back window. Trim, seal. Looks pretty good. Little cracks here on the edge, on the paint. Chip there. Corner. Light scuff here. So there. 
Looking in your bed, it does have a lot of chips. The back bumper, same as the front, scuffed up. A little pitting from age. Some dents in your trim back here on the tailgate. And up top you got some chips. Let's see here. Got the tailgate down. Went on up with it. Trim piece there. Just be clipped back on. Coming down this side. Again, lower portion first. Spec there. Chips right here. Little bubbles in the paint at the bottom corner of that door, a little bubble, chips, bubble there, and over your fender, little speck on the paint, that'll come off, scuff here, chip, Paint's got some stains on it on top of the fender there. A couple chips and popping up here on the edge too. Mirror doesn't look bad. Oh, missing a little bit of rubber there. Little chip. Hold the bed here Around your back window, this side's all right. Little cracks, the seal there, up there. Side of the windshield looks pretty good too. Same kind of stuff, aid. All right, we've made it around this ride. Let's go ahead and open her up, check out the interior, and start this motor. Checking our door panel out. Oh, there's a screw back in out here. Needs to be tightened up. A little bit of pitting on your door handle and your window crank. Overspray up here. A little rust and a little frame around the vent window. Also some there. Chip up top. Edge of the door. Scuffs at the bottom here. Seal is newer. It's on matte flooring. 
It's older. Try not to rip it up. You see, definitely got a little surface stress there. Oh, got some holes down here in the floor pan. You can see where they tried to repair it. Seat in this one. Scuzz. Guess it was yellow. They dyed it black. Missing the cover on your light. Headliner's pretty cool. It looks good. Jump it up in here. Cross your dash. Get some cracks there. Go ahead and start her up. on down with our hood. Chip there. Emblem's not perfect. Stuff up top here. Chip here. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and share this video. Try to go over all the flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. There's detailed pictures, financing, and shipping at maplemotors.com. And check out the playlist below. It has uh, cars currently available. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks. See you later.